So the flying armadillo started in 2013. We first got the property. Uh, my dad retired and was basically looking for a way to diversify his investments. And so he bought the piece of property. Okay. And I kind of talked him into allowing us to turning it into a disc golf course. And it took about two to three years to kind of cut and clear the fairways and uh, clear them out. And then ever since then, we've kind of been working on infrastructure uh building the pro shop the pavilion and kind of just doing improvements and maintenance since then uh i like how it's always different uh before i did this i did commercial construction where i was in an office uh 90 percent of the time and kind of just doing the same thing over and over again so being out here it's uh it's nice because <clears throat> there's all kinds of different stuff to work on right and, Maintenance, upkeep, uh, doing new improvements, building new stuff. Um, and yeah, it's just always, it's always something different. Every day's different. The biggest challenge uh, is probably our parking lot. Okay. Been, but that's a fortunate situation to be in. Um, you know, we, right. ever since the pandemic came around, there's been more and more people playing disc golf. And along with that, we've had more traffic and more people and the courses are able to accommodate the number of people that come out but uh, our parking lot fills up and there's not enough room for people to park and they end up parking on the street uh, which is a very dangerous intersection yeah and so that's kind of the biggest uh, limiting factor right now as far gotcha. as what the number of people that we can allow out right now okay uh, yeah our immediate next future project is going to be the restrooms uh, it's way more than we ever anticipated it would cost because we're out in outside of city limits and so there's no sewer or water hookups and okay. so we have to uh, have a public water supply as well as a septic system and a restroom building gotcha and so that's uh going to be more money than we ever thought it would be but uh we're at the point now where we're able to uh it's not as daunting as it once would have been that's good uh, but besides that, just kind of keep building up the course, uh, finishing up pouring the tee pads. We're going to do a retaining wall around the pavilion, uh, kind of make it more flat. <clears throat> and uh, Some improvements to some of the holes on the putt-putt course. Uh, we would like to make one that's kind of got ramps going down both sides so you can kind of makes it accentuate the putt-putt style yeah uh, make it a little more interesting okay so that's something that we'll probably be starting on here pretty soon all right who's the who's the doggo introduce us taco taco's the course dog he's the tour guide when people show <laughs> up he uh escorts them around if they're willing to throw his disc for him then uh he, he there's nothing else that makes him more happy than that <laughs> but uh he's good and then there's there's two other dogs orby and uh wolfie but uh, they're all pretty good, and they they like to greet people in the parking lot when they show up and say hi to them and make them feel yeah. welcome. All right, I love it. Thanks, Michael. Yeah. Thanks, man.